the question I asked him was, will we ever see you back in a squared circle? And he's like, no, never, never, ever, never, ever, ever. <laughs> and look at us now. That's look wow. Look at us now. Rewind, recap, relive. For over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews. Have you ever interviewed CM Punk? I have once. It's the infamous never ever interview. I was, oh yes, of course, on the carpet, right? <laughs> yes, it was. It was such a surprise too. Like I did not expect him to be there. It was in Cleveland. It was the Alternative Press Music Awards, I believe. And I saw him on the guest list, and I'm like, CM Punk's gonna be here. It was like basically the first interview he did after walking out of WWE. Ironically, in Cleveland, like that was where. The, he he walked out on WWE. So yeah. yeah, I interviewed him very briefly, a few minutes. I would love the opportunity to have a much longer in-depth conversation with him. But for now, we have the never ever interview. The question I asked him was, will we ever see you back in a squared circle? And he's like, no, never, never, ever, never, ever, ever. <laughs> and look at us now. That's look wow. at us now. Um, yeah, I was going to say, how would you go about an interview with CM Punk? I mean, I'm sure that's, uh, you know, you'd have to really think about that and be in the moment. But someone who you mentioned, you know, cheers are met with booze, someone a little bit decisive. Like, how do you go about an interview with someone who's a bit polarizing? Well, like, he's self-aware enough to know who he is and to know how the fans react to him. Like, he's he knows that. So yeah. I don't even think that really needs to get brought up. Like, he, he knows who he is and he knows how the fans perceive him. I would love to just dive into his career because look at what he's done everywhere he's been, whether that's Ring of Honor, WWE the first time around, and a lot of people point to the pipe bomb as the thing that brought them back into pro wrestling if they were lapsed fans. Yeah. What he did in AEW, whether you enjoyed his work there or not, or whether you watch AEW or not, you have to admit that his return to wrestling after seven years and us thinking that he would never go back to wrestling and he seemed pretty happy doing what he was doing was huge. And yeah, sure. Tony Khan kind of tipped his hand and like, you know, kind of said without saying like, you should probably watch collision or rampage is going to be on there. Like I, I still think that return was great. And now him being back in WWE and you know, look, it's just December. He's only been back in WWE for like two weeks, but it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens as we head into the Royal Rumble, as we head into WrestleMania, and whatever comes beyond that. I think that WWE is doing a lot of things right, right now. Mm -hmm. And I think that they realized what happened before with CM Punk and what maybe went wrong with that. So I feel like we're going to get some very great booking leading into WrestleMania for him. <laughs> Rewind, recap, relive. For over 50 episodes, the revolutionary force in wrestling interviews.